Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I will do a little Q&A. Basically, I want to reply to as many, I try and reply to every comment I get on my YouTube channel, you know, in the comment section, obviously to every normal comment, but sometimes it's just hard for me to reply to every single person, especially when I get quite a few times the same questions. So I just figured out, let me do a little Q&A video and I'm going to reply to as many questions I can find and uh, you know to most of the sensible questions anyways so for that without further ado let's start and reply to some of your questions so first question where did you get your diffuser on my 335i um, it's made by AC Schnitzer I didn't buy it personally I bought the car with it as I said quite a few times in videos I bought the car with a full AC Schnitzer body kit so that includes the rear diffuser the front bumper, the alloy wheels, um, and what else? There's quite a few other stuff, I don't even remember. Um, there's like a lip spoiler and a whole... Anyways, there's a whole bunch of bobs around if you see on my videos. That comes with part of the AC Schnitzer body kit. So that's where it comes from, AC Schnitzer. Okay, next question. Uh, what is... What are the size of your wheels? 19 inch alloy wheels, also made by AC Schnitzer. Uh, another question. What is your exact exact exhaust setup, man? Okay. So, now it's changed, but when you asked that question on that video, I currently had decatted down pipes and a AC Schnitzer back, bo back box exhaust. Now I've removed the decats and I've put back the catalytic converter, so I've got just an AC Schnitzer back box. But it still sounds good. It sounded much better when it was obviously decatted, but I had to take it off because it just caused me too much headache with the engine management light. I just got fed up and I took them off. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why. Uh, another question, how old, how old is your car? What's the stock new to meters? How much gains did you get? What's the warranty issues? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, my car's a 2007. What's the stock new to meters? I have no idea. You need to Google that. Um, how much gains did you get? So, as I've done the whole dyno video, I explained everything on there with the dyno sheets. One thing I want to say, when you watch a lot of YouTube videos, personally, what I think, um, you know, people just put numbers on cars, like, so this is my 400 horsepower Audi, this is my 400 horsepower BMW, but I personally think half of these people who say that are bullshit because they don't have any dyno runs and they don't have proof of that. Not that I'm, I'm, I don't believe anyone, the, what I mean to say is a lot of times I see cars, people to claim that numbers, I don't believe they have or push that numbers because, you know, the numbers they say and the I results, the that's a dash cam. And the results they, they, they push, I don't think it's actually the numbers they claim to be. But this is my personal opinion. Anyways, my car has been dynoed. I've also done a video on that. Um, I'll put a card over here if you haven't seen it with the dyno results. And anyways, the end result was my car pushed 400.1 bhp. So that's basically 400 horsepower, which is quite cool to have an exact number like 400. And um, what was it? I can't remember, it was a 518 newton meters. Honestly, guys, I have too much on my head to remember. So I'll put the card for that video and you can see all the information there. Sorry about that. It's just, I know some of you will think I'm crazy. How do I remember the numbers on my cars? Guys, when you have many things on your head, it's hard to remember everything. Okay, the next question. Um, what fuel do you use? Normally, I prefer Shell V Power. Um, actually, quite strangely, last week is the first time I used a uh, Tesco Momentum. What is it called? Momentum. I think it's 99 octane. Um, that's the first time I used it. I just wanted to test it out because I've heard quite a lot of people saying that they better than V Power. So I just said I was like by a Tesco thing. I said let me try it out and see the results. Um, I don't think realistically I'll feel a difference, but I just wanted to try it anyways. And we got a question here about my bike I used to have. What is the what bike is what bike is that made? Well, you're probably trying to ask what's the make of the bike. So I had a Honda Grom MSX, and how old am I? I'm now turning 24 in a couple of days actually, 
and I'm asking your age because I want to compare my insurance quote with yours. Well, that's pointless because it doesn't matter only on the age. It matters on so many other things. It matters on your job. It matters where you live. It matters on your history. It matters on how much your bike costs. It just goes on and on. So you cannot compare uh, insurance with other people because every person is different. And I know it's mental. They're crazy. Those companies. It's basically how they can try and suck out more money from their clients. Simple as that. Okay, another question. Did the air intake change the sound of the car? It sounds sweet. Yeah, it definitely sounds sweet. I don't think it changed the car's sound massively different, but obviously you could hear a little noise um, if you would stand there. It, it'll have, you'll have more of a suction noise because it's a different kind of intake. Compared to the normal air box, it's more of a, it, it's a whole redesigned carbon fiber air box, but inside there's a, like a more of a cone intake rather than a flat you know the regular one so it definitely adds some sound and you know makes it more well the airflow is better it's more smooth i can for sure you i can assure you on that um another question well this is actually quite a funny comment the proper douchebag seating position okay basically i drive like a douchebag okay i'll take that Okay, this is quite a, a a one that controversial one. Basically, I've done a video, 335i versus the 335d. Which one would be better for you, for you when you look in, if you're looking into buy buying in one of those cars? So basically, what I said is, I've never driven the 335d, but I've been in one. My friend has one. My good friend has one, which I actually done a video. Um, not a three. He's got a 535d, but. I've been in a 335D as well and basically I just said simple facts I said it depends what you want for example sound now I know some of you especially the, the D owners might not be happy about this but it's it's it, put it this way you can never get a sound from a diesel engine like you get from a petrol engine yes you can get a sound don't get me wrong I didn't say you're not gonna get any sound you can do stuff to make your sound and 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 all that but let's face it guys it's not going to be the same as a, as a 335i sound the petrol engine is always going to give you a different tone a diesel tone is, is completely different um, and yes you can get a, a sound but it's not going to be the same and I personally this is my opinion guys you might you know you might have a different opinion you know but I'm sharing my opinion so in the end of the day is I prefer the 335i sound because to me it's obvious that it sounds way better way better this is my opinion again don't be upset it's nothing personal guys this is just my opinion and you know quite a few have commented oh you don't know what you're talking about go drive one first blah 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 I didn't slag down the 335 I the 335d and I'm not just saying it because I have a 335 I it's better I didn't say it's better I didn't say what's better I said if for me if a, if sound matters for me I'll personally get a 335 I rather than a 335d because of the sound wise um, about uh, modifications about power i didn't say you can't tune a 335d i clearly said actually that you could tune a 335d and you can get some crazy gains from it and especially torque you can get way more torque than a 335i out of it but to me as i said clearly it works as a package sound to me i said it's not only about the zero to 60 times it's not only about the performance it's about the whole package the experience the sound and of course the performance but all together just brings one package which to me personally I would enjoy better but not to say that the 335d is a car that hasn't got a sound or couldn't be powerful or it's not or it's worse than it's not better I didn't say what's better I said clearly listen again and watch the video if you haven't heard it anyways ended there I have a question how do I know which JB4 tune stage I need I have a 535 F10 I do know which stage I need or is it just one tune more than stage one honestly guys I'm not a professional tuner I don't work for JB4 but I can only give you share with you my advice and my experience which I've experienced and that's the point of my channel I'm not claiming to be a professional mechanic or a professional tuner because honestly guys I'm not too familiar with those things I all the videos I do is based on my knowledge on my own experience 
so I'm not really sure what JB4 tune you'll need for your car. You need to check them, you know, you need to contact uh, BMS, Burger Motorsports it's called, and see what they can offer, what stages they can do for your car, because honestly, I can't, I don't, I can't, I don't know. You know, sometimes I get questions which I really can't answer, I don't know. So I'm sorry about that, I couldn't really help you there, but check them out. Burger Motorsports and I'm sure they will manage to help you and this is a nice comment thanks for making this video very helpful I was thinking of buying an Audi A5 but I'm going towards a 335i more and more yeah well I personally would also go for a 335i but each one of their own it's a good choice anyways I think I'm gonna end it here any other major questions I get I'm just trying to think guys got a question what tune or map were you using for the 401 horsepower so as I said it's a custom a custom remap there's no there's no options to change it so it's just a custom tune and it's just perfect on the car it doesn't mess around with the electronics and all that and management lights and all that so you can use it whenever you want and what fuel I normally as I said I normally put in Shell V power so um, that is the answer for that and someone put a comment I have a few questions about the Grom about my motorbike I had can someone leave his email or something thanks if you have some questions just put on the video if it's something I can answer I will try and answer it um, there's no need to send the email you know what I mean um, I'll try and answer whatever I know about the bike which I don't own anymore, I sold it, which I really regret selling it. I wish I had the bike now. Honestly, I wish, I wish I didn't sell it. I love that bike so much, so much. And not all of you will know it because quite a few of you are newer subscribers to my channel. Last summer I had a little motorbike, not a proper motorbike, it was a 125cc, but it was a crazy, crazy fun toy. I'll put a little thing of it so you can see it here. But yeah, I miss selling it. I really wish I can buy it back from the owner I sold it to. Anyways, guys, I hope I answered some of your questions. Please give it a thumbs up. And as I said, if you got questions, put them in the comments. And if I can answer them, I will answer them. If it's something I know the answer of. Because obviously, sometimes I get questions which I really don't know what to answer. So hopefully, this answers some of your questions. Please give it a thumbs up if it has. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Until the next video, take care and see ya. Bye.